Hi, LNSW friend. Today I'm going to show you how to use the EZO tracking menu on the LNSW website to track the status of your eFOM D. First of all, go to the LNSW official website www.insw.go.id Click on the ECO tracking menu and then enter the ECO number you have previously received. After that, simply enter the captcha that shows up on your screen and then click submit. Once you finish the submission, you'll be able to track the status of your ECO in real time. There are six kinds of eFOMD status that you need to know, what they are, and to whom you should report if you find any problems regarding those status. The first one is status not available, which means that the eFOMD has been sent by the certificate issuing agency system but cannot be received by the national single window system of the exporting country. This may happen because the tracking number is invalid. There's a problem in the data communication between CIA and the single window system or there's a problem in the CIA application. If your status is not available, you may reach out to the ESK online contact center provided by the Ministry of Trade. Second, status AS1, which means that the eFOMD data has been sent by the national single window system of the exporting country and has been received by the Asian Single Window or ASW Gateway Indonesia. If your status is AS1, you may reach out to LNSW Contact Center on 1500679. Third, status AS2, which means that the eFOMD data has been received by the ASW Gateway of the importing country. If your status is AS2, you may directly contact the importing country. Fourth, status AS3, which means that the eFOMD data has been received by the NSW system of the importing country. Fifth, status REC, which means that the eFOMD data has been received by the custom system of the importing country and is now available for use. Lastly, status not, which means that the data structure of the eFOMD that has been sent does not meet the agreed standard of an electronic data structure. If your status is not, you may reach out to LSW Contact Center on 1500679 and also the ESK Online Contact Center to make some repairs. One important thing that you need to know is that you should only claim the preferential tariff treatment at least after you get status AS2 when checked on the ECO tracking menu on the LNSW official website. Besides providing information on the eFOMD status, the ECO tracking menu can also be used to track the eFOMD AK status since February 2020. And in the near time, it can also be used to track the eFOMD e status. Let's make use of the technology and trade facilitation provided specially for the Asian countries. The existence of the eFOMD will definitely be beneficial in terms of time and cost efficiency.